at the Zhuhai Air Show 2024 on November 4th, China North Industry Corporation Norinco, introduced the latest evolution of its SWS-235 mm self-propelled anti-aircraft gun. The new SWS-2 combines anti-array and missile components from multi-layer air defense, targeting threats like drones, cruise missiles, and low-flying aircraft. Built on the VN-1 8x8 ammo vehicle platform, the SWS-2 represents a significant advancement in mobility, firepower, and precision targeting, marking Norinco's intent to cater to the rising demand for adaptable and reliable short-range air defense systems in modern warfare. The SWS-2, also known as the LT-35, stands out for a single-barrel 35mm revolving cannon integrated into an enlarged remote control turret. This turret includes up to six surface-to-air missiles, enhancing its ability to counter both airborne and ground targets. The turret can rotate a full 360 degrees with the cannon elevating from minus 2 to plus 85 degrees, while the surface to air missiles adjust from minus 5 to plus 70 degrees. This wide range of movement allows the SWS-2 to respond effectively to fast-moving aerial targets at close range, with a 35mm cannon reaching an effective altitude of 3000 meters and a range of up to 4,000 meters. To enhance its accuracy and response times, the SWS-2 features advanced radar and electro-optical sighting systems. These systems facilitate guided targeting, enabling operators to engage small, fast-moving aerial threats like drones and cruise missiles. The 35mm cannon benefits from an automated ammunition handling system that supports a rapid firing rate of up to 1000 rounds per minute, while a revolver style mechanism improves reliability and operational tempo. Additionally, Norinco has equipped with the SWS-2 with diverse 35mm ammunition options including high-explosive incendiary rounds and programmable fragmentation rounds containing tungsten submunitions. These programmable rounds are specifically tailored to enhance effectiveness against smaller and agile targets, further positioning the SWS-2 as a powerful anti-tron weapon. The VN-1 8x8 ammo platform, derived from the ZBL-08 charges, provides the SWS-2 with substantial mobility. This platform features a rear-mounted engine and front-driving cabin layout, allowing the SWS-2 to operate effectively across various trains and in adverse weather conditions. The VN-1 can reach a top speed of 90 km per hour, albeit slightly reduced by the added weight of the turret and systems. Its light, fully welded armor offers protection against small arms fire and artillery fragments, enhancing survivability in active combat zones. Designed with modularity in mind, the SWS-2's turret is adaptable to various missile types, allowing operators to tailor to its mission-specific requirements. This modularity extends to Norinco's family of ammunition and compatible Chinese air defense systems, including the PGZ-07 and CSSA-1, streamlining logistics and allowing operators to deploy the system alongside other Chinese defense assets.
previous iteration of the SWS2 have undergone limited testing and evaluation within the Chinese military, with the latest model set for more extensive trials following its debut at the Zhuhai Air Show. This upgrade built upon earlier designs by adding the revolving 35mm cannon, enhanced targeting, and additional surface to MSR's capabilities, addressing performance limitations observed in earlier models. The recent enhancements combined with improved targeting and missile integration position the SWS-2 as a versatile short-range air defense asset suited to counter a broad spectrum of threats. Norinco is positioning the SWS-2 not only for domestic deployment but also for export, particularly in regions with emerging air defense needs. Southeast Asian nations with evolving security requirements may find the SWS-2's adaptability, cost-effectiveness, and ability to protect against low-altitude threats appealing. The SWS-2 fills a critical role in modern military strategy by addressing the gaps left by older tall anti-aircraft systems. Traditional tall systems often lack the mobility and quick reaction times needed to respond to new edge threats such as low-flying drones and precision-guided munitions. The SWS-2's ability to combine both a high rate of fire cannon and surface to missiles enable it to engage a wide variety of low altitude targets effectively, making it ideal for close-range air defense.